Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna go over two videos of two silly imams talking absolute nonsense. Now firstly I'm gonna start from the Somali man, since I am a Somali. He's going to make fun of the African American community and then we're gonna see a response. Another imam who's trying to defend African Americans but he's going to say that Somali women are prostitutes basically. Before we get to the video let me just say this right. Every time you make a video criticizing anybody with religious authority or any Islamic country, I've made videos criticizing Saudi Arabia, I've made videos of criticizing an Asian imam who was saying that Afros are disgusting. But every time you make a video like this, there are people on the comments saying that you're not a Muslim, you're trying to mislead people out of Islam. If this kind of things makes you lose your religion, I hate to say this, but I think you need to check on your iman. At the end of the day, these people are humans. And every human, as the prophet told us, makes mistakes. So they made mistakes and both of them apologized. And in my opinion, we have the right to criticize anyone who is in a public authority who says something that is this dumb. Now, let me show you the first clip. Most of the people that we meet, especially African Americans, they don't even know their fathers. They don't even know their fathers. It was all, all of them, most of them were the product of one night stand. One night stand. They will tell you, I don't know my father. Well, who named you? Whose name are you carrying? Well, my mother chose his name for me. You know, I don't know. Is that what we want for our ummah? No. Why? Because man, he has to give up the seed. And because the marriage will limit them, they will go from one to another to a third. You know, subhanAllah. Now this is what started the beef between these two Imams. And you may think that this is not so radical what he's saying. But the problem is that these are just a negative stereotype that's said about the African Americans. There's actually a statistic that said that African American men are the most involved fathers. And you can't really criticize African American men for the racism that's happening in their country, you know, the mass incarceration and all the other things. Now, when it comes to the Somali community, yes, our children, if they are sons of the Somali men, they pretty much always know who their father is. But that's because of the tribal system and the way our society is established. But that doesn't mean that those fathers are involved in that child's life. Now, I don't know where this man lives currently, but he used to live in Canada. Now, in Somalia, divorce rates is very low. But if you take a look at the Somali diaspora, I was checking that in Norway, Somalis have the highest divorce rates. In Many of the Western countries, Somalis have very high divorce rates and it's one of the issues that is reflecting into our children. And that's why we have many issues in the Somali community because many children, even the Somali community, are growing up without a father figure at home. So you may laugh at the African-American community, but the truth is that the reality of the African-American community is not that far away from our reality in the West. Now what makes criticizing African-American communities quite sad as a Muslim is because in recent history, African-American community is the only community that en masse embraced Islam. I mean, during the time of Muhammad Ali Malcolm X, there was a mass movement of people embracing Islam. And the reality is this, Islamic world never embraced them. We never built bridges with that community. We never did anything for them. But we are the first ones to talk about Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. I'm pretty sure this man can quote Malcolm X to you. I'm pretty sure this man can say all the great things that Muhammad Ali did. But we can make fun of their people like this. And it's actually quite sad that after 2001, the Muslim world, especially the Arab world, has spent a lot of money trying to promote Islam in the Western world. You know, all these da'wah centers, all these mosques, all these uh, fancy events like the World Cup, all of those things are done in order to promote a positive picture of Islam. But we do not try to promote positive picture of the Islam in the African American community because we do not see them as valuable as the white man in a sense. But the thing is that I believe if 
in this day and age if the African American community would embrace Islam like they did back in the days. A lot of people would follow them because they're a very copied community. But let me now get to the response. And the whole reason why I made that connection between prostitution existing amongst Somalis. And yes, let me apologize to the entire Somali community. Let me apologize to you. That wasn't the proper thing to say. Does prostitution exist in, uh, amongst Somalis? Yes, it does. Whether it's at a high rate, wallahu a'lam. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have said that. I, matter of fact, I shouldn't say that. Let me own that. I'm always telling everybody else to own their mistakes. I own that. I take that. Is it high rates of, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm sure for all of you, and this is the danger, all of you asking, well, where are your stats or where are your stats? At some point, some stats may come out. Not going to be for me. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to be the one to pull that trigger. But better believe there's somebody somewhere doing some research. And when that, you know what I mean? When, when that comes out, then you got to deal with that. As Allah says to the Sahaba, Ya ayyuha alladheena aamanu la tas'alu an ashya in tubda lakum tusukum. Oh, you who believe, don't ask about things. When it's made clear to you, it's going to cause you a problem. Every liar could use that word. I could say anything about anyone, and then when they question, like, hey, where did you get that? I could just say, hey, remember the ayah in the Quran? Do not ask about things you do not want to know about. Like, that's just dumb. Come on, Sheikh. I hate to say this, but that's misusing the Quran. And you saying that shows that you do not regret what you said. You can apologize, but you're still saying that, hey, what I said is the truth. Only reason I apologize is because you didn't like what I said. And that's not an apology. Prostitution is the oldest profession, as they say, and it exists in every community. But the idea that prostitution is prevalent in the Somali community is just dumb. Because Somalis, especially in the West, I would say is the most religious group. Now, if you travel in the Western world where Somalis live, you will notice that majority of the mosques, majority of the Islamic communities, majority of the people who are wearing hijab and adhering to Islamic values will be Somalis, especially Somali women. By the way, one of the video ideas that I actually have is based on the Somali fetish that is in the especially in the diaspora ummah, where every time somebody converts to Islam or somebody becomes more religious, what is the first thing that those people usually say? Hey, I want to get a Somali wife. Why? Why do so many religious non-Somali men keep talking about Somali women if they are prostitutes? That wouldn't make any sense. So the reality is that you got this out of your head. If you don't know the history, the first Somali Muslims embraced Islam during the time of the Prophet. We've been Muslims since the beginning of Islam. Our culture, our norms, most of the things we do is built on Islam. We do have other issues. We do not have issues like this. Since you are still saying that what you said is based on something, I demand that you show us statistics. Show us. Tell us where you got this idea from, because this is very disrespectful, and this is very childish. Now, if you don't like what he said about the African-American community, the solution is to criticize him, to say what you said is not true. I mean, you are the imam. You said something. We want to see where you got it from. And if you do not have the statistics, then do not apologize like this. Say, hey, I got it out of my head. Maybe I heard somebody say something, but I got it out of my head. But nine ways, that's all I'm gonna say. And if you like the video, please do remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment.